Hello, sir. Nice How meeting you. you. I'm very good. Excellent. So how is it having to film at London Film Festival? Um, it's quite amazing because Britain has an enormous history of great filmmakers and great films. So to be part and to be as well received as we are right now is, uh, is an honor. Can you tell us a little bit? Sorry, can you tell us a little bit about the film? The story goes. Well, I'm not going to talk about the story too much, but I can, t I can say it's a very powerful, engaging, touching, gritty film. It's poetic, it's funny, it's, it's dark, it's beautiful, it's ugly, it's, it's so many things at the same time. Is it important then that people go into the film without knowing too much about the story, and why? I don't know if it's important not to know anything about the story, but it's always fun to be overwhelmed once you're in the theater. So it helps if you don't know a lot about it, and, and you just get sucked into a story that completely overwhelms you. How do you make the audience root for a character that doesn't seem that kind of likable, at least to start with? I have one simple word for it, it's sincerity. Because of course the character is not really likable to some extent, but he's pure. There's no bad intention. He is what he is, and he speaks what he thinks, and he's, he's very sincere. And I think that is an enormous and beautiful quality. Jack's previous film was a very kind of insular... Okay. Okay, sorry. Jacques' previous film, and Prophet, was uh, was a very insular, tight, dark film. This film's a lot lighter and yeah, it's a bigger on a bigger canvas. Did you expect him to make this film after after the last one? Well, as I've got to know him, as I've got to know him, I realize he likes changes. So he was tired of being boxed into a very confined space, and so he needed oxygen. So that's why he set this next film. In, a, in an area where there was sea, sun, and, and air. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time. My Good pleasure.